With Title 42 expiring late last night and more and more migrants already being taken to shelters across the city, Mayor Oscar Leeser and the Office of Emergency Management giving an update today on the situation at the border. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KTSM 9 News at 5. I'm Andy Morgan. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto joins us live in central El Paso in front of one of those migrant shelters. And Skylar, it certainly has been an eventful 24 to 48 hours here in the borderland. What did our local leaders have to say about the next steps here? Well, Andy, that is right now. Title 42 is now over and the borders continue to be closed. Now, Mayor Oscar Leeser did address that they saw a spike in the last week with migrants coming to the states. And just yesterday, they saw 1,800 migrants come into the El Paso area to seek asylum. Now, the mayor says the city has had a smooth transition from the expulsion of Title 42. He also says the city is still preparing for the unknown. Leeser says the shelters at the vacant EPISD schools have opened and they have placed about 150 50 asylum seekers in temporary shelters. Now that includes families and single men and women which have been placed in hotels in efforts to decompress the community. We'll continue to, to help uh, our asylum seekers go to once they're released, they're released and they're free to go wherever they want to go travel, wherever they want to go to anywhere within the U.S. or in the city of El Paso. And we'll be there to help them and help them arrange that. Uh, where we're going and where they're going, we don't know that today because we talk to them and then we help them arrange that and set it up. So for us to know where they want to go, we don't have a pre-manifesto of that at this point. Now saying they are also working hard on not having any street releases. The reason why we don't see large groups of migrants roam the streets of South El Paso, Leeser says is due to Border Patrol helping those asylum seekers to fill out paperwork and try to go through the legal process. Now city leaders say that there is still funding to last into the coming weeks, but they want to continue to be proactive. Now this is the first day that Title 42 isn't in effect, and I'll have more coming up at six at what city leaders had to say. I'm in central El Paso. I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.